welcome to MOC videos. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to declare a class, how to declare a variables and methods inside a class. Now, we know that a class contains fields and methods. Here I am declaring a class with the name box and then I am declaring three variables are in Java specifically we can say it is a fields. There are three fields are there width, height and depth. Here I am defining one function. The function is of type without return type and without any argument. So, in this just I am calculating the volume of an object just I am multiplying all the three values and then I am calculating the volume. So, here I am having two different classes one is a box class in box class I am declaring three variables and then here I am declaring a method and this is actually the main class 6 1 in this main class I am creating an object of this box class. So, here I am creating the first object my box 1 new box of and creating the second object. Now, after the creation of these two lines what is going to happen is a separate memory space will be allocated for this my box 1 as well as for my box 2. So, here the class members can be accessed with the help of an object name. So, my box 1 dot width. So, I am assigning some values and similarly for second object I am assigning a value and here I am calling the volume method by using the first object and then a second object. So, you can define n number of objects for all those objects a separate copy of these three variables and this method will be allocated. If I execute this program, so I will get the result. The same program which is modified slightly. Now, this function returns a double value. So, in this example we used a function without returning any value. Now, if a method returns a value how to use that? Here I am using another one function set dimension function which takes an argument. So, this is another one method which takes three arguments for that. Similarly, I am creating two different objects and by using that object I am passing a value. So, my box 1 dot set dimension of 10, 20, 15. Now, automatically this function will be executed w is assigned with 10 and h is assigned with 20 and this 15 is assigned to d and then width equal to w, height equal to h and then depth equal to d, we are assigning the value. Then volume 1 equal to my box 1 dot volume of just we are printing and this method will be executed, it will return a, a total value that is a total volume value, it will be assigned in vol. So, here I am declare, I am catching that variable value in a particular variable, here I am printing because this method is returning a fun value and similarly by using the second object also I am using that, I am getting the result. If I am executing this program, here also I will get the same result. These are the two different variations of a methods available. So, the methods can be without return type and here it is a return type is there and then arguments and here this is without return type and we are having some arguments. Thanks for watching, keep on visiting my channel. Thank you.